There you go, welcome to you. This is your tarot reading for the month of October. I hope you, really hope you get something from it. Now, what you can see on the front here is not a picture of Java as I normally use, but a picture of Shrewsbury in the UK. In fact, it's Wild Cop. And on the left-hand side, you can just about see the Max Head pub, a place where, in the past, I've enjoyed many a happy hour. So why have I got a picture of Shrewsbury on the front? Well, I might have left Shrewsbury by October, but I'm trying to get there at the moment. Um, if I ever get issued with a passport by the UK passport office. And I'm going to be there for two months, not in the best of circumstances. And I won't have access to the internet while I'm there. So I'm preloading a lot of content, including this. So yes, it was it was recorded long before October, uh, but the energy of October is in it. Look on my channel to find out what's going on and why. Uh, I'll make an announcement, but this is about you. And as I say, I really hope you get something useful from it. Mmm, Virgo. This spread suggests there's some ups and downs in this. Some ups and downs, yeah. We've just had a deeply psychological reading for Taurus and I can't help but think that this might also be very psychological. <coughs> you look at that central card, the Six of Swords. That suggests that you, you're moving on and dumping baggage, which has to be a good thing. Um, but I can see I can see problems ahead for you. I, I, I think ultimately, ultimately things are going to turn out OK, but probably not in October, maybe not even in November. But ultimately, I think you're on the right path. In a recent past, we had the Six of Pentacles, which is the card of charity. Now, I don't know if that's you giving charity or you receiving charity. In fact, I've no idea how to interpret it placed where it is. Your current energy is the Three of Pentacles, that's a card of teamwork, being unable to complete things without others. Even though you may all have your specialisms and not be doing the same thing, but the task is bigger than the individual. And now the energy of the future is a Tower card, a, a sudden abrupt ending, your entire world changes. And given that the energy running through it is the Six of Swords, I think this is a necessary change. All you can do is rebuild and you have to rebuild. Now the card leading to, or the energy leading to the outcome, and the outcome's a good outcome, but the energy leading to it is, is the Moon card, which is fear of the unknown. So there's something unknown to you. I think, this is why I think it's deeply psychological. There's something unknown to you that you need to overcome. And I think that tower moment does overcome it, which is why I think there is hope. What would change the outcome is the full card. So this is you going off on a journey without really thinking about what you're doing. It's not necessarily a bad thing to do. Uh, but I do see the outcome card as a good card. It's the star card, a card of hope, a card of, maybe of renewal, maybe even of spiritual renewal. Uh, but I think before you really realise that, or maybe it's as a result, nah, yeah, it's as a result of realising it, that it brings about this tower moment. So you realise something about yourself, maybe you realise your fears, and it brings an end to everything that you know. Now clearly I'm going to have to look into all of this in much more detail, because as I say, it is deeply psychological. And uh, I hope you'll stick around and listen to it. I hope it's resonating. If it is, if you can hit the like button uh, and make a comment. Also, if you could subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you get future notifications. It helps me immensely. So what I need to end on, uh, on this particular 
screen is um, I want to thank you in anticipation for you doing all of those things Virgo. Why from Java? What's important about tarot from Java? And the truth is, there is nothing so important about tarot from Java. Simply that here in Java, we have many different spirits who will come to help in, in your tarot reading. It'll probably put a different reflection on things. For example, the spirits here are less likely to be concerned about love and finances despite people in Java being every bit as interested in these things as the rest of us. But maybe the spirits are trying to tell us something else. Now I'll be using probably two decks, but out of three decks. So the first deck is Taro Nusantara. The second deck is the Steampunk deck. And the third deck is the Light Visions Tarot. Um, Tarot Nusantara is actually a new one to me, which, which I love. Whereas the Light Visions, um, I've struggled with uh, as a result of the rendering. Um, although I, I think I'll grow into it, I, I will keep using it and coming back to it. You can see on all of them, I'm using quite a lot of uh, salt, and that's to clear the energy and the spirits from them. Something that I do fairly regularly with my tarot. And I also, you'll see a number of gym out there that I use um, just to bring a good energy to the tarot um, and to my reading. Perhaps the most important mystical object we use in Java is the Chris, the curly knife that you can see that I've placed across both decks. Chris are very important for bringing the spirits to work on any object here in Java. And I call on the spirits of the Stiper Stones of Wild Edric and his wife Lady Godia to assist me in shuffling the cards, in selecting the cards and interpret them for Virgo for October. Now the energy that runs throughout the entire reading is the Six of Swords. This is about you moving on. Moving on, I think you're trapped maybe in your past, uh, but you're trapped in a certain way of seeing and doing things, and you need to move on, and you need to dump that baggage. And I do think this personal transformation is going to occur, uh, but probably not in October, and it might not occur without there being a tower movement moment something that shakes you to your very core that forces you to make these changes so whether or not you successfully dump the baggage during october i'm not certain you look at the card well they're moving across that lake so they're moving to somewhere different aren't they and in doing so they have to throw some baggage into the lake now this is an energy that runs throughout so the whole thing is dominated by this need to move on and this need to dump baggage. And I think only by doing so are you going to create the profound changes within yourself that look to be required. Now in your recent past we have the Six of Pentacles. Card of Charity. I don't know if this is you giving charity or you receiving charity. And I actually don't think it matters <coughs> I, act, I, I believe this card to be quite a profound card. I believe it to hold the key to some of these psychological issues that I think underlie this reading. And so we could see this in two ways. Firstly, that you've been charitable to others and they haven't been grateful enough. In fact, they've probably come back to you with their hands out. And that's having something of a profound effect on you. You keep thinking about it, that they're using you, that you've been an easy touch. Or the alternative way of seeing it is that you've received from charity, some charity from someone, uh, but you've felt forever beholden on them. 
and that indeed has created some sort of psychological baggage. I mean, you look at the card, well, it is about charity, isn't it? But there's, there's also those scales there suggesting there's some justice, maybe even karmic justice in all this. As I say, I think this is very important. Your current energy is the Three of Pentacles. That's a card of teamwork. Now, it's not necessarily that you, you work with others doing the same task. No, it's more that you each have a specialism. Uh, but without the others, you couldn't get to the whole. Now, given that I think this is deeply psychological, and given that I think that the last part, um, the ch card of charity was very important, is it that you have to work with others as a result of something to do with this charity? It could be. Uh, but I've got an alternative proposition here, and remembering that the... The uh, overall energy is one of you moving on and dumping baggage. Is it suggesting that you need to work with others in order to do that? And I think that could be the explanation. I mean, you look at the card, they're building, I don't know if it's a temple or a palace, and it looks as though he's a wood carver. The others are just holding up his tools for him, aren't they? Or maybe holding up plans. But, you know, a woodcarver alone couldn't build the palace, could they? No. And that's what we need to take from it. And your future energy is the tower. Now, you probably know what a tower means. It's a tower moment. Your world comes tumbling down. <coughs> Everything changes. It's probably unexpected. It's... Probably not welcome. And you look at it, well, the tower's been struck by lightning, they're falling out of it. Uh, but once that happens, all you can do is rebuild. And given that I think there are some sort of dark psychological aspects to your current life, maybe that's not such a bad thing to be happening. Maybe the tower is actually a blessing. In order to move on in your life, you need the destruction of what you believe is everything you know and maybe even hold dear. There's nothing there's nothing you can do but rebuild and rebuild you must. Rebuild your life, yeah. Now the energy that impacts on the outcome is the moon card. This is a card of fear. Fear, <coughs> fear of the unknown. So I said this was a psychological reading. Now I don't really know what you're frightened of. But I can't help but feeling that that charity card is related to it. I don't know why. I don't know why. But I, I think it's related to it. Now if you look at the card, there's a lobster crawling out of the sea, going up towards that mountain. Now I don't think lobsters spawn in fresh water, but that looks to be what it's sort of doing. And in order to, and, and it looks a great place that he's going to, but in order to get there, there's those two fierce animals. We don't know if they're fierce, they just look it. But you also pass through the gates of a Hindu temple. So it's suggesting that we don't know if it would be good or bad, but you're painting a fearful picture. And of course, what is fear but a prayer for things to go wrong? So, you don't know why you're fearful. I don't think you do, but you are. Now, the energy that would offset the outcome, and I think offset is the right word in this case, is the full card. Uh, this is you going off on another journey, another journey whereby you don't know what the goal is, you don't know where you're going, but there's a happiness, there's a joy about it. You look at the card, the sun's shining down on him, which is wonderful. He's packed his bags. Now, remember, we've got a tower card there, and it says there's nothing you can do but start again. So his bag's on his back. So this does feel like a starting afresh before the tower happens, doesn't it? And uh, 
His little dog is chasing after him, barking. Why is the dog barking? Well, he's about to step over a cliff. But, you know, there's a joy to him. What it's saying is, you know, if you start something fresh, and, you know, this would happen after the tower as well, there's bound to be ups and downs, there's bound to be turmoils, and, and yeah, it might be better if you knew where you were going, but I'm not too certain you can, because I'm not too certain you fully understand what these psychological issues are. Hmm. So, yeah, <coughs> this journey would change the outcome. And what is the outcome? Well, the outcome is the star. A wonderful energy to have as an outcome. Uh, it's an energy uh, possibly of renewal and rebirth. An energy of hope. Hope for the future. So, a lovely card to have here. So, why aren't I... Why aren't I sort of... Why aren't I... I don't know, why aren't I celebrating this card more? Well, if you remember, you need to dump some baggage. And I think this is just a sort of a blind hope card. Because remember, the moon of fear has led to this. And I, I think it's you overcoming your fears, but not necessarily having dumped the baggage. And the other reason why I don't see it as positively as I ought to is of course there's the tower card which probably chronologically comes after this so it's almost like I'm thinking it's a false hope and forgive me if I've got this bit wrong but let's get some clarity and I'm going to seek clarity on the moon card because as I say I think it's a deeply psychological reason so if we can find out what's going on in your psychology um, then you know, maybe it will provide some answers. And the first one is we have this Six of Pentacles creeping up again. So I was right. It is very important. <coughs> now, we still don't know if you gave charity to somebody or somebody gave charity to you. But I'm getting a feeling is that you were charitable towards somebody else. The next card is the Knight of Swords. He's brave, he's fearless, but he rushes into things. And the final card of clarification is, is that a nine or is it an eight? I know what it means, but I can't, can't always, ah yeah, it's an eight. So the final card is this, this eight of wands, which is you, you understanding what you need to do, getting your ducks in a row and moving with a sort of real sense of direction. And I'm concerned that it's a false sense of direction. But let's look at all of these individually. And yeah, the, the first card of confirmation is this card of charity, and I'm getting the impression it's you that were charitable. I think you've been charitable towards people, and what's happened is that not only have they not reciprocated, they don't seem grateful. And I think this is playing on your mind. It's playing on your mind. You're thinking, oh my God, is, is the world not this happy place that I thought it was? Is it really a Darwinian world, a doggy dog world? And I think that's playing on your mind. It's, it's affected you deeply. You look at the card, well, she looks like Lady Bountiful, doesn't she? So there's, there's no doubt it's about charity. And there are the children with their hands out. But... You know, if you begin to see the world as being more than the material world, more than about money and materialism, maybe none of this matters, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter. So, the next card of clarification is the Knight of Wands. He's a lovely knight, he's brave, he's fearless, but he does rush into things and make mistakes as a result of not thinking. And you look at the card, it reminds me of Lord Carnarfon about to go into King Tutankhamun's tomb. And of course he was shortly to, shortly afterwards he died along with everybody else who went into the tomb because of the supposed curse of King Tutankhamun. 
And this is why I think it's you who's been charitable, because if you rushed into being charitable towards others without thinking of how it might affect you. And whilst it might have affected you physically in terms of you may be short of money, I don't know, I think it's more the mental torment that, it, 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 that, that it's causing you. However, it still, I suppose, could be that you accepted charity off someone and now they want something back from you. I mean, that would cause a mental torment, wouldn't it? You know, gosh, I mean, I've, uh, images of sexual exploitation come to mind here. I, I hope I'm not right about that. But anyway, yeah. Oh, of course, that would make you even more fearful, wouldn't it? Yeah, and this is about fear. Oh dear, oh dear. I suppose linked to that, you rushed into something. We now have the Eight of Wands, which is you moving very quickly in a specific direction. Well, of course, you know, I, I said that the last night moved quickly, but got things wrong. And I think this is you having moved quickly and got it wrong. And my dark thought that you're being exploited, I mentioned sexual exploitation, but I mean, it could be any form of exploitation. It's feeling like that might be, that might be what's going on. <coughs> now, given this is confirming fear, I think it's more about fear that that's what the person that gave you money is planning than actually what they're doing. It, it might not have happened yet. It might not have happened yet. Which is why the tower would be a great thing. And remember overall, you need to move on and dump baggage. Well, you need to move on. Don't feel, you know, if you're being exploited... Do not feel beholden to that person, however much money they might have given you in the past. Oh dear Virgo, this is quite a dark reading. I thought at first it was deeply psychological, and, and you could see it as psychological, but that's, that's not the core. No, it's quite dark. Unfortunately, these new Centara Tarot do come up with these sort of dark readings from time to time. Uh, <clears throat> Overall, let me say that you need to move on and you need to dump the baggage from the past, but you're finding it difficult. And the reason is you accepted charity, probably some money off somebody. I mean, it might even be a money lender, I don't know. Um... And you need others to help you in moving on from them because they've got a hold on you. Now, I don't think they've actually done anything to exploit you just yet, but they're threatening to and you're racked with fear about it. You're absolutely racked with fear about what they're going to do. I mean, clearly you're regretting having taken the money off them. You're regretting having rushed into it, but you know... That's done. That's done. Somehow you need to extricate yourself from them. And as I say, I think you need help in doing that. Um, <clears throat> maybe you get that help and maybe you feel like you're beginning to do it. Um, but I'm not certain that you can affect, you can leave them that effectively, even with others helping you. So, you know, it ends up with you being full of hope. But I, I think it's a false hope. <clears throat> now, if you were to move away, move move completely away from their clutches, start a new life, then you would resolve it. If you don't choose to that, do that, I think the universe is going to do it for you. Your whole world is going to come tumbling down and you're going to have to rebuild your life. So one way or another, I think you've got to move away from the clutches of this person. You've got to dump the baggage, you've got to move on. It's not a palatable thing to be telling you. I'm, I'm sorry, Virgo, but that is what the cards are suggesting. So my deepest sympathy towards you. I do hope you've enjoyed Tarot from Java as an addition to my channel, The Magic of Java. 
please take a look at the other the other uh, videos that I have on this channel about magic from Java, and I hope that you will be become a subscriber. Now, if you want to find hear your next tarot reading, hit the button, and that will inform you of when I publish new um, new readings. I'm certainly going to do a reading for every month, but maybe I will try them a bit more frequently, say a mid-month reading, and maybe also some special readings. But above all, thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you. And enjoy Java. <laughs>